In this tutorial, I am going to design designing of a compact tri band band pass filter using multi mode stub loaded isolator. You will see how to design a filter. What are four basic steps? Creating of substrate, creating of ground, creating filter design, creating radiation box, and how to assign material to a substrate. And how to connect substrate with the ground using our tool and how to assign a design in ground perfectly. If you are beginner in this and HFSS, so go to the farm basics of HFSS tutorials that are present in my channel. This is the environment of HFSS. I frequency structure simulator. If you want to know the basic of HFSS, you can go to my basics HFSS tutorial series, where you can see everything like that. I'm going to design tri-band band pass filter which will be look like in this way with 50 ohm transmission lines and with following parameters length, width and gap between the stubs you can see here you can see the length L1 start from here up to here up to this gap and width of air W1 and length of step 2 is start from here and end here with W2 likewise L3 is gap between them L4 is length is given of this stop and L5 is gap between this before going to design this we have to do some mathematics to know about the gap between these two stones and gap between respective other stubs and after that when you will do some mathematics to know the unknown gaps you will come to design Basically, I am going to implement this research paper. You can search it on Google Scholar and you can download it and read it. I am going to design this model. You can see it. I am going to design this. First of all, draw a box with random value. Come here. Design. Give this box to a name. Substrate. Let's uh, first of all we design our filter design and then we create substrate according to the design. So delete this, right click, let's leave it. Now create stop, create a stop word, I think, take it down, and some random value. This is one of the stub. You can zoom it 
Make sure the what is the unit you have selected it may it will millimeter. Just to add this is an draw another rectangle somewhere on this side. Okay. and click ok and see the now I am going to draw a rectangle in order to know the second stop starting position and you will draw this ok and put these dimensions and click ok from here there will, there will be a starting of second stop position go to drawing mode and take rectangle and start position here draw a rectangle right here here. Let's go to dimension and I am going to change the dimension according to my mathematical work which I have found difference I mean gap between two stop. These are the final final dimension of second stop. You can see it. Click OK. This will be my second stop. Now I am going to complete my first stop. You can see from here. Go to drawing mode, take a rectangle, and just first draw a random size rectangle. Then I am going to set according to my mathematical work. This is the final dimension. You can check them. Make sure you know must be in millimeter. Click OK. This is my first stop. And finally I will unite them to make a one design. How I am going to complete my second stop? Go to drawing mode, rectangle, and select just Okay, let's try and set the dimension. Likewise, click on OK. This will be becoming a second stop. Creating a third stop, I'm going to draw a random rectangle from here. Side there to know the starting position of third stop. And I will change their dimension according to my Mathematical work. Set these values accordingly. And click on OK. From here, I will start second stop. Yes, draw a rectangle of random size. Then I will correct. Dimension. Now put this detail. I click on OK. This will be second stamp, and this will be third stop. To complete the third stamp, 
are you going to draw on? And to make time work. Okay. These are the final values. Click on OK. This is one. And first of all, I am going to delete these rectangles because they are some extra rectangles. Delete this. Let's go to here. And click delete. Similarly, click this. Delete. Delete this rectangle. Yes. Now, now in order to unite these all stub, click one by one by holding Control key. Tangle. Okay. And go see here button unite unite them. Yes, it's become a one rectangle. This is our half design. The rest of the design will be a symmetry of this design on right side. Must keep in mind the symmetry must be correct to get a good result. The dimension of our stuff here will be same dimension as us. So half stop in this side, likewise second stop, likewise third stop. To complete the symmetry, just go and draw mode and draw a random rectangle here. Complete this information. And click OK. Here, draw a rectangle in order to complete the symmetry of this stub or stub. I am going to check the dimension. Correct this information. And click on OK. This is going to complete the symmetry of first stop. Just unite them. Just click a bit. Right click on both and then and click unite. To complete second stop. First of all, draw a rectangle here. Complete this information and click on OK. Draw a rectangle from here and random size. Click on OK. Put these informations. Click on OK. This is a second screen. You will see their dimension from here. Click on OK. Now, in order to complete the second step, I am going to make in this way. Okay.
click OK. This is the second star. Now I'm going to to delete this extra star. Which one is this? Delete it and unite the rest of me. This is a design. Now I am going to complete the third step. Direct rectangle in order to know the starting position of third step. Okay. Complete these information and click on OK. Draw a rectangle from starting position. This will be rectangle and then this one. Click on OK. Put this detail. Click on OK. Now in order to complete the third step, I am going to make another rectangle. Put this detail. And click on OK. First of all, delete this rectangle and unite rest of them. Yes. This is our design, but still missing. A stuff that create even and odd mode. Draw a rectangle to know the position of a stuff that create even and odd modes. I'm going to draw a random rectangle. Then I will correct their dimensions. Put this value and click on OK. This is a starting point of the next stop. I will draw it a random thing here. You can OK. Put this detail. And click on OK. And delete this rectangle. And unite. Put these detail and click on OK. And United. Let's start the design. This is our complete design of a filter. Designing a compact drive and band pass filter using multi mode stub protein resonator. Next lecture. We will create substrate and transmission lines with excitation of ports, plumb ports. And also we will create in ground and connect and we will connect ground with a filter design.